Hello everybody and welcome to BWB TV. My name is Lauren Barry and today we are joined by Steve Martin. He is the VP of Research at Waters Corporation. For more than 60 years, the Milford Massachusetts Space Company has been a technology pioneer in chromatography, mass spectrometry, and thermal analysis innovations, serving the life, materials, and food sciences. Thank you so much for joining us today, Steve. Lauren, it's great to be here and it's great to participate in, uh, in sharing some of the excitement of waters with, with, with the audience today. Great, thank you so much. So the first question we have, Steve, Waters has a long history working alongside the scientific community in times of need through collaboration. Can you talk about your organization's ongoing collaborative efforts in the fight against COVID-19? I'd love to. And, you know, the when the COVID pandemic really reached our shores uh, early in 2020, Waters realized that we had a lot to offer the, the scientific community and technology and know-how that if we partnered with the scientific community, we could accelerate their work and potentially accelerate the advances in understanding the COVID-19 uh, virus. And so we work very closely with a wide range of customers across the world, uh, engaged more broadly with society to ask what challenges are that we can help with from an from a instrument company. We pull together our resources globally. We have over 7,000 people across the globe. We built project teams that where we had an advantage before we had this mindset that we were geographically located. But with the virtualization of the world with the virus, we were able to, get to pull together teams across the globe to help collaborators, no matter where they were, solve critical problems. And this mobilization has really also opened up uh, this, this mindset of broader collaboration and connection uh, that's very exciting, and, and, and we hope uh, it'll continue well past the, the end of the pandemic. That's fantastic. So next question we have for you, how will you sustain the collaborative spirit and approach in the months and years ahead? Well, I think it's great to ask that question. Uh, we just, Waters just announced the opening of our Immerse Cambridge Research and Innovation Lab in the heart of, of Kendall Square in, in Cambridge, Massachusetts. In fact, I'm sitting in the middle of that space today, and you can see behind me uh, the laboratories. Uh, I can feel the energy just being here. One of the reasons we wanted to be in Cambridge was the pulse of the ecosystem here in Cambridge and the greater Boston area. It was surrounded by pharmaceutical companies, by startups, by the academic environment, with a strong focus on life science. And so in this time, when we're very focused on the COVID-19 efforts, what better place to be than be immersed in Cambridge where we can really drive collaboration. And so as we kick off, this is the first of many immersed sites worldwide for waters where we look, we'll be looking to engage the local community in the areas of, of their expertise to be partnered with them to solve problems within their space because the best place to solve a problem is right where the problem exists with the community. So in this period where the COVID-19 is, is really challenging all of us, uh, it's a great opportunity to be situated here, to have our labs up and running, and be able to really connect with the broader community. Absolutely, and that's so fantastic. And can you actually talk more to us about the importance of inclusion at Immerse Cambridge? You know, the key, the key opportunity in science, and, and the pandemic has provided us a great opportunity, unfortunately, is recognizing that solving problems is not a, the domain of a single expertise. It's really bringing people together from very diverse backgrounds. And what we hope is every time someone walks through the door of one of our immersed facilities, they really feel the energy to contribute. They feel like they can bring their whole self to the conversation. They really feel like it's a safe environment. And we know in doing that, we're going to create the energy and the collaboration to drive solutions that otherwise would either take much longer or may not be as, as good. So we're very committed to diversity and inclusion. And we know scientifically that's that broad base of collaboration. When you immerse everyone together, you stay focused, you solve very difficult problems. And so Immerse Cambridge is our first stop. Uh, with the broad community here and, uh, and our doors are open to, to start today. That's so great. And can you also tell us more about some of the initial projects that you'll be working on at Immerse Cambridge? 
Yeah, so some of the early projects will be extensions of the innovation response team programs that have been already going worldwide. So we'll be moving some of those programs to this particular site, again, to enable a broader contribution from the community and helping us solve these problems. In addition, at this point in time, you know, this area is really focused in life sciences. And so with COVID-19 as the critical challenge for everyone worldwide, one of the key areas of focus in, in this space will be continued work in the COVID-19 space. We recently successfully wrote a grant application with Professor Joe Zaya at BU to fund an activity looking at um, the influ influenza and spike protein glycosylation. So a very exciting program, very relevant uh, to COVID-19. In addition, we have some unique technology with a technique called DESI, where we believe we can do a point of care, real time, almost real time analysis of whether someone's infected with the virus or not. So a lot of very exciting programs ongoing here. And we know by working with this community, uh, there's an infinite number of other projects that, that need, need our support and we're here to, to do that. That's amazing. And for those that are interested, where can they go to learn more about Immerse Cambridge? They can learn more at waters.com slash immerse. Perfect. Well, Steve, once again, thank you so much for joining us today. Lauren, it was great. And thank you very much for taking the time. Of course. And thank you very much for watching BWB TV.